What's up, YouTube? It's so popper bringing you guys another drag tune. Finally. All right. Um, real quick before we get into tuning and stuff like that, I just want to mention a couple things. You guys have to remember. Um, your tree is very, very important in this game. Which, if you guys don't know what tree is, it is uh the time it takes you to react on the drag line. You know. Um, kind of self-explanatory at that point. Anyways, um, a couple other things. Uh, time of the test of the track that you're running like um I don't know if you guys ever noticed but the time when you go into the drag course uh will be set at different times it'll be like 8 30 1300 etc or whatever the times you guys really want to be running on is 1700 it provides the most grip and um it's kind of like the standard a lot of people tune on 1700 um, if you run on any other time other than 1700 and if you tune your car in 1700 you might get wheel spin or your car won't run the same keep that in mind that is very 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 important um, also controller layout certain people have different controller layouts shit like that makes a big difference sometimes it might like it might be a little more comfortable for you or whatever but certain controller layouts help people better than others so um try try to keep that in mind too like when you're racing like you know other people who are quicker and stuff like that um let me think of any other pointers uh i don't know i'm blanking let's let's just get right to it soon all right um first thing you want to make sure you have your power all the way up upgraded like you know the power level and weight reduction upgraded all the way uh raise it up power ratio all the way up uh, weight reduction all the way down make sure your tires are racing super soft racing super soft um, make sure traction control is off important one all right now for suspension um, you want to raise the suspension in the front all the way up and slam it in the rear for all-wheel drive cars and real drive cars, this is the ride height you want to go. You want to go up in the front, lower in the rear. It's going to make a more aggressive launch, and it's going to get traction because it squats and, and, and absorbs a lot of the, um, the wheel spin. You want to raise the natural frequency to 2.5 in the front and the rear. You want stiff suspension. You want to lower the roll bars in the front and the rear all the way to 1.1. One, one. Then for the uh, damp dampening ratio, the compression, you wanna put the front at 61 and the rear at 64. Then for the dampening ratio rebound, you want 92 in the front and then 94 in the rear. Then for negative, I mean, uh, for camber, you want none. You want zero, zero in the front and the rear. Camber and toe angle and stuff like that will slow you down, especially in an all wheel drive car. So you want none um the differential you want the fully customizable one raise it up 60 60 in the front and the rear and then for lsd acceleration sensitivity you want it 60 60 as well the braking i mean you can i mean to be honest i don't like you can play with these you can adjust them and stuff like that and from what i noticed when you mess with the lsd it makes uh a difference with your initial launch like when you're actually breaking loose the tires like so you can play with that a little bit um it doesn't do too much from what i've personally seen i mean i might be wrong but um you guys can play with that all right for the transmission go to fully customizable obviously and then we're gonna start off uh um if you guys have an another tune that you like or whatever make another sheet copy copy over your sheet and then go here you know make another sheet and uh do this tune or whatever but <clears throat> all right so you go to final gear this is where uh this is where you start your transmission flips and if you guys don't know what a transmission flip is it's pretty much uh doing uh giving you more compact gears in a set gearbox than a traditional like moving the final gear so first we're gonna flip it all right um we want to flip at 3.2 uh oh my god i said it again no we want to be flipping at 2.8888 sorry okay. uh, 
looks so confusing. There we go. All right, we want our final gear 2.888. Then we want to lower the top speed all the way down to 124. And then we want to lower the final gear all the way down to uh, 2.0 to that lowest final gear. All right, now that we have our final gear set, we're gonna go through and uh, start adjusting our gears. You wanna move six all the way over to the right, fifth and fourth as well. That gives you, you know, uh, that moves your gears in closer to you, the rest of your gears. Pretty much we're trying to get the most compact gearbox possible. All right, we're gonna slide this first over to 4.708. Then we're gonna move a uh, second to 3.613. Then from there, we're gonna move third to 2.933. Then fourth, fifth, and sixth are all the way to the right already. Which is 2.440 for fourth, fifth is 2.011, and then sixth is 1.731. So that's the gearing for this car. I'm gonna I'll leave it here for a quick second so you guys, if you want to dial that in or whatever, pause the screen or do what you gotta do. All right, so now that that's done, now that I showed you how to uh, tune the car or whatever, I'm gonna show you how to drive it because that's a very important thing in this game as well. Driving your car is everything in this game. This car is pretty straightforward and simple to drive, but sometimes it, it kind of can be annoying and a little complicated. This is not a car you can really drive in auto and call it a day. You gotta shift it. Oh, um, uh, sorry. Oh, come on, really? The only fucking good lobby open. Come on, this guy's gotta kick someone. What the fuck? Oh. Yo, 
Yo, James, could you please tell this fucking shrimp dick to kick someone for me so I can fucking get a quick video? The host. Yeah, that's the only lobby that's popping right now. There's no other lobbies. There's one with two people in it. I know, but still, it's perfect for me to walk some niggas right quick. Yeah, because I, if I can get him to fucking... I just need to run my my GTR R35 right quick. I'm making the R35 video. It's time to make space. Kick someone that, um... I don't know, kick someone so your friend can join or whatever. I'm sure there's gotta be one nigga acting up in there, like, with all those flags, like, come on now. Said that the yo, bro. I don't care. Hold on, hold on. Just let, let me just join up and I'll tell him. I'll tell him what's up. I'll be like, yo, you can get this tune. Yeah, cause I'll give him. I'll, he can get this tune. I just need to test it out real quick. You wanna know which one of my cars is a four speed and that shit hauls ass? The Viper. Mm -hmm. So many players not doing anything. fucking favorite thing to say to bug with you. I'm like, yo, what's up, shrimp? Or shrimp dick. Shrimp dick is the one I really like saying, but...
Okay, guys, so <clears throat> a couple things you want to remember with this car, I mean, well, well, with all cars, is there's shift points. There's shift points and there's power bands for cars. Like, you, like every car, you don't want to be bringing it all the way to red line like you see on the screen right here. Like, you, like certain cars, you're going to shift in like 6,000, 5,000. Like, it just depends on the car. I'm, I'm going to show you real quick how to uh, see where your shift point is at. It's like, um, when I exit the pits, but um, in this car, I'm gonna show you how to drive it. Pretty much, you you want to like get right right when it's about to go to red line, like uh, maybe like seven. I mean, like, like real close to seven thousand RPM. You want to shift that. So when you launch, you want to hit the e-brake. You see how I tapped the e-brake and the light came on? You tap the light, then you go up to 3,000 RPM, you hold it, and then when you see the light splash, you slam the gas. Yeah, most of these cars, most most drag tunes to really be efficient, you you can't run from the outside view or anything like that. Too. You have to note that, um, and you want to keep your cars in power band and all that. Very 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 important. Stuff. All right, so let, let's try to get a serious run with this guy. Remember, tree is important. You see what happened there? I was pulling him back, but since I didn't react fast enough, it the the race was over. Look at this. Look at the difference. You see him back there? That was literally just reaction. Like, I was pulling him back really hard that first race. I just slept on it on the race. So, again, key point tree, your reaction time is crucial in this game. Half the, half the race is reaction time. Second, you want your tune to be on point. Then, you want to worry about shift points and et cetera and stuff like that. Like, all these key things are very, very important. There's a couple things you can do for reaction time, too. Just to give you a little bit of edge. There's people that go out and get gaming monitors and stuff like that. They'll give you a faster reaction time because you technically see the image coming up on your screen quicker. There's a lot of things you can do and stuff like that. But, I'm just trying to give you guys all, like, the little pointers and important things. And I'm, I need to make a little segment, like a little pre-intro kind of thing to all my tunes to like highlight all these kind of things. And I'm going to do that at some point uh, in the future just to highlight all the little tips and pointers that should be known uh, for anyone looking for a tune. <laughs> Notice how running the car is very important. Like, you want to pretty much shift as soon as you're hitting that red line in first, and then uh, ride out second until it gets to 7,000, and then you know, shift from there. This car traps. Another thing, um, the car traps 150, 159, right at the shadow. Which, what that is, is from running it from a complete stop running from a complete stop from right here the, all the way down to the very end shadow all the way down it hits 150, 159 I'm not really running the car there to full potential get that shadow see what that shadow that's a trap speed if just in case you guys know alright that's about it I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like, subscribe, or something. If you guys appreciate the video or anything like that, there will be a lot more future content. So just let me know. Uh, comment if you want to call specifically or something like that. Um, that's cool. I mean, I'll definitely do a video for you. Just let me know what you guys want and what you're looking for, etc. Well, see you guys.